So when I tried to load test my battery packs for the electric turbo project, we had a bit of an issue. We were basically drawing a huge plasma arc on our load tester. Which gave me an idea. Maybe a bad one. I haven't tried it yet, but who knows. These are two pieces of uh, bed frame material, basically nasty angle iron that I've cut down and cleaned. I'm going to try to stick weld these together with the battery pack. And welded it to the piece. Yeah, that's a wee bit aggressive. Let's try swapping the polarity. That's a bit too much. It's like blowing holes in it. Oof. That's nasty. All right, this is more normal stick welding with uh, electrode positive. Let's give this a shot. It's creating a lot more splatter. Certainly no shortage of power in that battery. Good God. Oh, this is embarrassing. But let's just see what we've got. I want to make sure I do not short these. Let's put that over here for now. We tried it, and the one thing that is for sure is the battery packs. I'll measure the voltage when I get back in, but the battery pack is absolutely 100% unfazed, not even warm. It's actually kind of cooler than it is out here. Now, I'm not the greatest stick welder in the world, but I can usually lay down a pretty decent bead. Truth be told, I'm actually a little bit better with TIG than I am with uh, stick. But that was a mess, and that was a mess. It started to splatter. It didn't seem to matter if we went electrode positive or electrode negative. I tried both. Um, and you can tell, I mean, this is where we started. It was just blowing holes through it. The arc was very hard to control, and I had to move very fast, and there's a whole bunch of undercut happening here. It was, I mean, it's welded. This ain't coming apart uh, but it's not exactly ideal and the reason for that is once we looked at the video we saw that in some cases we were pulling over 200 amps but overall we were right around 200 amps which is way too hot for material that's this thin this is probably just under an eighth of an inch and uh, you know the electrode was 330 seconds now if we had a 530 second electrode and maybe three eighths inch steel plate this probably would have gone a lot better but this was way too much power for this I may try to you know screw around in the future and take maybe eight cells instead of 14 to do some stick welding. Uh, I think that might work better on most, in most situations. But uh, it just kind of does highlight how much power electric turbos take because the electric turbo that's in the LTD actually requires two of those packs to work. One is not enough, but one is more than enough to create a mess out of some steel so towards that end obviously we have to get that thing going and that's coming up soon the control box the actual box is on its way but we have you know pretty much everything needs to go into it this is actually a tesla contactor that'll replace the big power switch so all that stuff is uh sort of in final stages of assembly of this variant which hopefully will push us close to 750 horsepower so towards that end of course ring the bell uh subscribe stay tuned there's a lot of fun stuff coming up and i will catch you all on the next one welcome to amateur hour and uh some of the worst welding you've ever seen on youtube